This is Hanshou Tesla Model Y and 3 new Phantom tail lights with sequential turn signal. The kit comes with two corner lights, two inner lights, and all the harnesses required for the installation. You want to make sure you have all the harnesses per the manual and instruction that comes with the kit. Make sure you watch this video thoroughly right before the installation. The kit comes with each corner lights and inner lights. It also comes with tools. You do need a wrench and a socket for the bolts behind the tail lights. Remove all the trims, all the cargo, and all the covering for your storage bins and sub compartment, as well as your hidden sub compartments. Place this aside near the vehicle and then start prying the rear seal. This is the tailgate seal for the Tesla Model Y. You want to start from the corner and lift your way across the left. Then pry open the fabric cover. This is on both sides, so do the same step for each. You want to pop open two clips before you remove this trim. This is actually the trim on the bottom of your right and left storage container. Place this aside or in your sub compartment. Then pry open, starting from the right side, the trim next to the tail light. Work your way across. You don't have to remove this completely. Once you have enough space to put your hands behind the tail light, use a wrench or a socket and remove the three bolts behind the tail light. So there's two on the inner and one on the outer and just slowly remove it with your fingers once it's coming loose. Then remove this plastic trim on top of the corner tail light. Then now pry the plastic cover open starting from the right corner. So you want to wiggle this out. Don't put too much force but just enough to pull it off of the clip. Don't pull it or yank it completely until you unplug this harness and that is the plug to the tail light. Now move to the left hand side, pry open the plastic trim again. Again, you don't have to remove this completely. There is a 12 volt outlet here. You can unplug that if you can't get your hands back behind the tail light. Again, there's three nuts back here. So two on the inner and one on the outer. Use the socket or the wrench to remove it. And before completely loosening it, Use your fingers to remove it so you don't drop it inside the vehicle. Then pop up the trim on top and then pry starting from the left hand side. Again, be careful not to crack the corner edges. Now remove the top trim on your tailgate or your trunk. You want to remove this on the Model Y. This is the trim closer to that brake light. And once you remove that, there's no clips, but there is a clip underneath that trim you just remove remove that on each corner by the struts you have to remove this remember to remove that before you can remove the other panel which includes the speaker and the fabric as well as the ambient lighting don't let it fully drop past your head you want to unplug this wire before you let it drop now using the socket remove the nut behind the inner tail light there's two nuts back here on each light again Loosen it with the socket or the wrench and then completely remove it with your fingers so the nut does not drop. And once you remove both nuts on each side, unplug the wire from the vehicle and the tail light or the inner light. How to remove this again, just pull the red tap out and then pull the plug out. Once you have both plugs out, you can go ahead and use the pry tool to remove the inner light. You can use a little bit of force here. Just be careful not to scratch anything. You might want to put tape around the tail light to protect the paint. Do the same thing for the left hand side and now you have both tail lights removed on each side. Looking at the harness, make sure you use the right harness for the right side and the left hand side. First, you want to plug in the tailgate harness from the vehicle to the hand show harness and then you will be running these wires all the way to the corner tail lights from both sides so go ahead and 
run the wires together along with the other OEM wires. You can use zip tie to tighten it up, make sure it doesn't rattle when you're driving around. But do that last. You just want to make sure you have enough tension before you zip tie anything. So this is the conduit from the right hand side of the Tesla Model Y. And you want to open up between the lift gate and the vehicle and then run the fish wire through from the top to the bottom. And from the bottom, you'll be fishing this through inside the vehicle roof and that will allow you to fish it from the actual back of the tail light corner tail light to the center of the actual lift gate or tailgate. Be patient with this, use gloves if you can, and make sure that when you are fishing it through, be gentle when you're pulling through. You wanna make sure you're not yanking or cutting any wires inside that conduit. So again, you wanna fish this wire through this conduit from the inner tailgate to the outer corner of the tail lights that you just install. And this allows the sequential turn signal to work. You wanna run it through the headliner. So pull it in from the back seat. And once you have it through the back seat, you'll be running it through, back through the back of the trunk, underneath the weather seal, but above the head liner and once you have the wires fished through go ahead and pull enough to be able to reach each corner of the light so make sure you pull from the right hand to the left hand which wires those are and make sure that those are plugged in accordingly to the right tail light and now you can start zip tying all the wires on the actual tailgate itself. Once you have enough tension, you can see how clean this looks. And the installation part is almost complete. So go ahead and place back this conduit and seal it back up. So again, this comes with the vehicle. You just need to fish through the harness. And that is the most difficult part of this whole installation process. Once you get this step down, the rest of the installation is very simple. Next, pull up this rubber trim. You'll be hiding this wire in between the actual car frame and the headliner and the interior trim. So once you lift up that rubber strip, you will be able to run these wires underneath it, very clean. And again, along the actual trim itself, you want to run the wires that can reach the corner light on the right hand side and then the longer wires to the left hand side. So you can use the pry tool to put back down the actual rubber seal and that will help keep everything clean. If you don't have gloves, highly recommend washing your hand before doing this final installation process because you don't want to get that interior trim dirty. The pry tool is provided with this kit. So if you have other pry tool, feel free to use it as well. So now running the wires to the left corner tail light. Again, same process, lift off the rubber trim and place the wire in between the frame and the interior plastic trim headliner. So once you have it run all the way down to the corner tail lights, you can go ahead and place back the rubber seal. And again, these goes in very easily. If you have to force it in, that means it did not line up correctly. So be patient with this while you place back all the rubber seal, again, using the pry tool to pull out the rubber trim evenly and make sure it covers the interior trim as well as the frame itself. And that is the most important part of the installation. Now, using the three-way harness, you'll be plugging in the end of that wire from male to female. And do the same thing for both sides. There's actually two connections, the larger male to female, and there's a smaller wire, male to female. So make sure both are connected. 
One is for the running lights and the other is for the sequential. So make sure both are plugged in. So we're plugging in the left hand side right now and now doing the same for the right hand side. Again, the big plug from male to female and then the smaller plug, white plug from male to female. So the wire that you've just fished down, that's the male and then connecting it to the final harness, which is the splitter. And tuck away the wires in the back and leave a little slack for the connection to the hand show corner lights. Do the same for the left hand side. And again, just leave a little slack. This will be pushed back in once you install the light. So it's completely weather sealed. So this slack right now is just to allow you to plug in the lights before you install the actual lights itself and bolt it down. So that's enough slack for both sides. Now go ahead and get the corner lights starting from the right, plug it in. So there's two plugs, male to female from the actual tail light itself. And then the larger plug is female to male. You can see there. So when it clicks in, go ahead and press on that red tab that will lock in the actual plug itself. So again, if it doesn't fit, that means you have it upside down. Just flip it over. It is not universal. So once you have it plug in, push in that gray tab and it locks itself in. Now clean up the wires, push the wire back into the vehicle and be careful with this process not to pinch any of the wires. It's very important that the wires are clear and going through that hole back into the vehicle so it can seal correctly and double check before you actually align the actual light itself and then use the gent hammer like fist to push in the actual clips and again using the nuts that you pull out earlier and unscrew now screw it back in with your hands first there's three of them and once you slide it on and tighten it with your fingers you will use a wrench or a socket to fully tighten it down and you're done with that side now go ahead and close the trim and put the rubber seal back on and use your fingers to glide the rubber seal along the plastic trim so it looks like you never remove anything do the same for the left hand corner lights again screw it back on with the nuts that you removed earlier again there's three of them two on the inner side one on the further side and then place the weather seal back up and the plastic trim use a hammer fist to push in don't actually use a hammer the best way is to line up the clips and then hammer it down with your fists and gently glide all the trim down to the plastic with the rubber seal and that is pretty much it so your vehicle may have this stopper some might not so don't worry if you don't have that that's on certain model year and where it's manufactured place back the plastic cap on top of the actual tail light itself and now you'll be installing the inner lights same process so place the lights on and go ahead and press in on it and using a hammer fist gently hammer in to the trim and it should snap right in and lock it back in with the nut that you removed earlier again do this for both sides and then hand tighten it with a socket or a wrench you don't want to over torque this you just want enough tension for it to stay on there tightly then plug in the actual harness on the right hand side and do the same for the left hand side again using a hammer fist gently hammer in until you hear a click and using the same nut that you removed earlier to screw it back in with your hands and tighten it in with the socket after that go ahead and zip tie everything or use tape either electrical tape or zip tie is fine it will reduce and minimize any possible rattle and go ahead and place all the trim back in reverse order you want to start 
with the bottom trim for the lift gate or the tailgate. This one, once you line it up, remember to plug it in before you actually hammer in with your hands. And then put in the two clips that you removed earlier. And once those two clips are in, you will be able to place back the top trim. And that one clips right on with no additional clips. Again, using a hammer fist to make sure it lines up and it snaps back in. Now put back in the corner tray and then put the actual clip back on, on the front and the rear. And this is the same for both the right and the left hand side. And this is applicable for the Model Y only. And then the tailgate seal, place that on. You want to line up the rubber seal with the trim itself and then hammer it down with your fist again with your fist and then putting back the rubber trim you can use a pry tool to guide the actual rubber trim or use your finger whichever is easier for you but both method works the same and that is it go ahead and place all the sub compartment cover back on including the side compartment the hidden compartment and the sub storage compartment cover so this should take you no more than 60 minutes and the installation is complete. Hopefully you find this video helpful. If you're interested in this product, the link is in the description of this video with the discount code. Make sure you subscribe and follow for more.